It's a graveyard smash. And it's a graveyard smash. You'll catch on in the mash. And it's a graveyard smash. to my beautiful model, Stephen Perkins. Today we're gonna do a video on him, the monster of Frankenstein. So I'm starting off by putting some Vaseline on his eyebrows so that, you know, the glue doesn't stick to them because he will kill me if I do that. For today's look, we're gonna be using a foam prosthetic. This is my first time working with a foam prosthetic, but it seemed pretty simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is just apply Prozade, which is a type of adhesive, to the contact points of Steven's skin and just make sure everything is nice and covered. Letting it dry down a little bit so it gets more tacky so that I could press the foam prosthetic on and it'll stick right away. I think I got glue in his hairline here and I was like, my bad. But then I ended up putting a little Vaseline there too because I didn't need him coming for me later. He would've been pissed. Just making sure to really push down all the edges, kind of fluffing his hair to get an overall vibe. You really wanna make sure there's contact on all the edges, so I'm just doing that right over here. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your liquid latex. I think I'm taking a little bit more prosade here because you know I needed more glue. But after that, you're gonna take your liquid latex and a little sponge and just stipple along the edges of your prosthetic. This goes for any type of prosthetic you would use just to kind of make the edges seem smoother to the skin. And I did about three layers of this before I powdered it with some colorless powder. Because a foam prosthetic is very porous, it's basically a sponge. You wanna use Pax Paint. Shout out to Mikey Glam and Gore for helping me because I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I had to call her and ask her. But you're gonna wanna take red first over the whole prosthetic and this is from what I, learned on YouTube called underpainting. I don't really know if I needed to do this, but I feel like everyone told me to have an under base. And so red was the most popular color that people use under prosthetics. So I just said, let me do that real quick with some red. And then, oop, sorry, I dropped my Fix Plus. And then I went over with a little bit of green Pax paint. I probably should have trimmed this edge before I put it on, but I decided once it was on that I needed to cut a little bit off the top there. And then I just continued on painting the full prosthetic. But for his skin, I decided to use my, <laughs> hello. I decided to use my Mayron uh, water activated paint just so that it's a little bit more um, easy on the skin because Pax paint is, I don't know. I read online, some people say it's okay for skin, some people don't, so I didn't wanna take the risk. So I'm just using face paint on the rest of the skin and trying to match the color as best as I can. A lot of time was spent just covering everything in green. I feel like that takes like a cool minute just to make yourself fully green. You gotta make sure to get the eyelids. Always make sure to powder the eyelids too after you're done. Get those under eyes. It's just a lot of ground to cover over here. This red was peeking through on his forehead a little too much, so I went in with the face paint and just kind of did a light swipe over that color. Now we want to create Frankenstein's monster's shadows. I want to make his nose wider like the classic Frankenstein image, so I'm kind of just adding some blacks and some highlights. I think I ended up trying to really powder his lids here because they were getting a little um, oily, so I just went in with a, a gang of powder. And then you wanna take black paint or black eyeshadow, whatever you choose to use, and really deepen the brow bone. I want it to look so sunken in, so adding black in there along the under eyes. Also in the smile lines, you wanna add some black shadowing. Once you add a little bit of dimension, it just makes such a huge difference in the overall look. So. I mean, this look is fairly simple and even putting on the prosthetic was fairly simple. Uh, now I really just am trying to blend the edges of the prosthetic because, you know, obviously his forehead is massive. So I'm just stippling with the sponge some black face paint. I'm actually using the Makeup Forever cream paint here because cream works really well on top of a water-based paint and just blends nicely. So it's a little bit easier to work with too. So I'm using the cream paint. 
I think I was just making him squint here and then putting in black um, paint so that the wrinkles were pronounced. I wanted to him, I wanted to actually make him look more wrinkly, more tired. So I was really, you know, making him squint here. There was definitely a moment where I felt like he could potentially be looking more like the Hulk than Frankenstein's monster, but in the end it all works out. We already know the outcome here. So we're just continuing to shadow along all the edges, the bones, the hollows of the cheeks as well. You really want to sink those in and drag them down. Now it's time for every guy's favorite part, eyeliner. <laughs> Steven hates this part, but I'm using the Linda Hallberg black liner just to line his waterline and just all around those eyeballs because we don't want to see any skin-like colors peeking through. We want it to be smoldery, mysterious, dark. The thing I like about Halloween makeup is not super precise. You can just feel it out. And so I work a lot in layers, like I'll go over and do kind of basic shadows and then I always just like to go back and then work on you know more targeted shadowing this I wanted to look like his neck shadow was always there more so like a drawing than anything so this black represents the shadowing of his face and chin and everything and I'm also going to add black to the ears and also to the the forehead wrinkles as well we also want to make sure to black out the lips, so I'm just taking a little bit of MAC Carbon eyeshadow, which is just a black eyeshadow, and applying it all onto the lips. I find that eyeshadow sometimes is nicer on the mouth, so it's not sticky or it doesn't crack. And I just felt like that would be more comfortable for Steven instead of paint, so I just put um, a little bit of eyeshadow there. And then of course we want things to be more pronounced, like the nose and the brow bone. And so we're adding light to these areas. I'm just using Makeup Forever Flash Palette in the white cream, and I'm applying that to the brow bones and to the nose, just to make them look more pronounced. So back to everything on his face pointing downwards, I wanna kinda of make his mouth have like a downwards curve. So I'm just again taking the black and applying that in a curved down, you know, direction. And then let's get those nostrils. He loved this part too. I'm taking black face paint and just putting it in the nostrils. I, essentially this, this is supposed to look like a drawing, you know, um, more of like a painting. So the blacks that you're seeing are supposed to look more like heavy shadows. So that's why the nose and the neck is such a strong black color. So I decided to add the bolts on with lash glue. This is House of Lash Glue, it's very strong, so I felt like this would work for the time being. But if you're gonna wear this all night, I would actually try to add the bolts on clean skin before the paint, but you know, I didn't do that, I forgot. So I'm just giving you guys the tip, clean skin always sticks better. Uh, the bolts are also ordered from the same website as the prosthetic, which I will link down below. And now I'm just taking some black paint. This is a uh, temporary hairspray paint and I'm, you know, making all of Steven's hair black and then I'm just gonna really adjust it, lay it down, lay his edges. This part was so fun for me because I just kept looking at the monitor and, and laughing because it just looks so funny. But yeah, that's it, you guys. This is, oh wait, no, just kidding, just kidding. I decided to make the shadow a little bit more pronounced. So I brought the black down, blended it out a little bit so that there was more of a gradient. And now, nope, just kidding, we're still not done. We're gonna darken up the temples here. That's one thing I forgot. You wanna make sure to darken up all along the edges so that the foam prosthetic blends better. And now we are done. This is the finished look. Frankenstein's monster. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>